Hi everybody, this is Scott Davenport, and in this on one short clip, I wanna share with you a tip for adding some motion into your skies. So here I've got a very nice scene at the beach in San Diego, my hometown. Uh, it, nice and longer exposure, some good water flowing over these rocks happening here, and a little bit of hint of motion in the sky. And I wanna amplify that, I wanna boost that up. So I can do that in effects with a blur filter. I'm gonna go over to the filter stack and add a blur filter. Let me open up those options. Now, right now it's completely, you know, terrible. But uh, what I want to do for the sky is I want to add a radial filter. And that's going to give me this nice, you know, cool motion feeling like these clouds are zooming into the scene. And I want to have them converge at the sun. So I'm going to grab this little crosshair and drop it right there. And then the last thing I want to do is remove the effect from the foreground because this certainly does not look natural at all. I can do that very quickly with the masking bug. Uh, let's just drop the bug right at the horizon, rotate it around, and so now I'm removing that from the foreground, leaving a bit of these streaks in the background, and then I can fine-tune how much of that effect I really want using the opacity slider for the filter and somewhere in around that area looks pretty good. And there you go. So very quickly with a blur filter, radial choice, you can add a bit of motion into your skies and give a more dynamic feel to your landscapes. For more on one tips and tricks, visit me at scottdavenportphoto.com slash on one.